Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are very, very close to forming the Empire of Mongolia. We need a little bit more prestige or fame here, and what can we do for that? I mean, we could commission an epic, and that's something that we definitely will do. We'll get started on that, and we've got, I was going to say plenty of cash, but this actually isn't a ton of cash. We're going to go ahead and get the high, high chance here. Yeah, we're a little bit worried about our stress level. We could visit the market, though, and that'll be okay. Yeah, we need to drop some stress here, for sure. That will be fine. Because all we need at this point is our level of fame to come up, and we need a little bit more cash. We'll have that cash. I'm not worried about that. So we'll take forward here. Actually, we can ransom some prisoners, and let's go ahead and do that. Fantastic. That gives us, I think, the gold that we need. We're going to go for Renown here. We're not really looking for the personal prestige because all we need is a little bit more for Exalted Among Men here. All we need is 532 prestige. And we should have that fairly soon. I want to gain prestige here. How dare you challenge your con. We don't have an option to gain prestige, sadly. We are going to be able to host a feast and call a hunt quite soon. So we'll be just fine. We have low control in a couple of counties, though. And that's something that we need to think about. However, I want to think about rearranging our personal setup here. Now, we could imprison this guy. We don't have a hook on him. He's pretty upset, and he would be the only one who would rebel against us. That would make us some fame. What if we did a revoke title? What are those odds? Zero percent. So yeah, he would start that war. Is that okay? Are we fine with this? I mean, we want to get this title for sure. This is kind of our top priority right now. Let's do it. He's going to reject it, for sure. And we know that. So we can preempt him and start raising our army now in our capital. Now, it's going to take five months to raise. But we'll see how long it actually takes here. So yeah, he's going to fight us, and it's only him. His troops are going up over there. I like it. So at this point, we're waiting for our men-at-arms to pop in, I think. Let's go ahead and split half of these. And these guys over here, they're just going to walk on in. These guys, they're going to continue. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Take a break. These guys, they're going to walk up here when they're done gathering, but he's just chilling up here for now. So this is fine. We're just going to get started on this slow siege. We have no option but to slow siege right now, although we could, in theory, rework our men-at-arms, and that's something we might want to do after we get exalted among men and get our Mongol troops. Like, one thing I'm thinking about doing with our men-at-arms is restricting ourselves to only having horse archers and siege weapons. Something along the lines of three siege weapons and then filling everything else up with horse archers. It's not going to be great later on, but that's okay. We're going to take the prestige here rather than the gold. Our men-at-arms have arrived, so we're going to go ahead and stop that gathering process and head on up, fight these guys a bit. We do have a new diplomacy perk available, and we're going to go ahead and take a life of glory. Excellent. So these guys are going to go up here and fight the enemy army while we are sieging. And you can see here they're immediately seeing that and retreating. We're going to hop over here and see what they think of this. What is their plan here? I mean, that's a kind of foolish plan. We're going to host a feast. And that does reduce our stress level, which is nice. Welcome, friends. 
three months left on the siege on his capital. And then we'll just go over here and start sieging. Actually, can we... I think we can divide this force in half and begin a siege over here, simultaneous. We're going to see about cutting this guy off up this way. If we don't catch him, it's not the end of the world. He will lose to this siege, so... That'll be fine. There's our level of fame. We're not going to do the decision until after this war is done, I think. And we're going to catch him up here. Until next time. Yep, we do catch him there. Fantastic. So this siege will finish up here in about 40 days. We're going to catch his force up here. I don't know that we're going to stack wipe the force. We might, actually. That's getting pretty crushed. Yep, that's a stack wipe. Excellent. And there we go. War is over. So we are going to enforce those demands. And disband our troops. So, we managed to take the top level title. Now, he is... Or actually, no, we just imprisoned him. We're going to take his top level title, as well as his other titles, like so. So we do want these to be our personal holdings. And that's all for this duchy, correct? Correct. And then down in this duchy, we want this duchy as well. That comes from this guy. Hmm. Okay. I do want to hand out some titles up here. Like this one. We can grant this off to just some rando. That'll be fine. And we need to hand off one additional title. What else do we hold? This. We don't need this. There we go. Excellent. So we have these three. What is the other title, though? We hold a, an additional title. Other than just these three. Ah, this one here. Yeah, that one's fine to hold, personally. We do need to revoke this guy's titles. One or more holdings are under siege. Okay, we'll come back to that. Because we're missing gold for greatest of cons. But otherwise, we can do this. Wonderful. No loot. 11 loot. 15 loot. So we're going to raise up some raiders over here. And we're just going to go raiding. So we're going to raid over here. How many troops does this guy have? Uh, he has about 10k. So we'll raise up 12k. And then we'll come over here and raid. Then we'll come up here and raid. And we'll just raid along this border. We're now melancholic, which is not ideal. But it'll be fine. We're just looking to get some gold. Now, we currently are in a situation where... What's our realm look like? Okay. This guy's gotta go. There we go. For now, that's fine. We may have an additional sun, but we'll see. So we're just going to raid our way up this way and get our gold that way eventually. How much total gold do we need for this? We need a total amount of 320 gold. Okay. Sounds good. So we're going to head up over here, then we're going to raid here, and just continue to raid along this border. Should be fine. We're also making 10.5 gold per month. So here's an, another 11 gold. And this will be another 19 plus 19 plus 23. I mean, it'll be fine. We're doing very well here, I think. So we'll hop in there. We can ransom this guy and we'll do that for 10 more gold. Oh, we have too many held duchies. We need to hand one out. 
We can hand this one out for sure. So we'll grant this guy the High Chiefdom of Doria. There we go. Excellent. Can we ransom anyone else? Yes. That was 100 gold, actually. That's a lot. We're going to have this income very soon. We're not going to have to raid as much as I thought we would. In fact, we probably don't even need to raid up here. No, we don't. We can just put our troops down here. This will be fine. Yeah, I'll attend your feast. Fantastic. And then once we are done with this raid, we can put our troops down. And that'll be fine. We're going to need two month ticks here, but that's okay. We can grant vassals off to the rightful liege. I'm not too interested in that right now. We can also rework our men at arms anytime we want at this point. As long as we don't go down below what we need for the actual event, which is 350 prestige. But we can become the greatest of cons now because that cost actually just dropped. I'm ready to call every clan leader from across my vast realm to a gathering. They will pro proclaim me the con of cons, lord of all that is under the sky. From there, we conquer. The clan leaders all know why they've been called. We spend a long night secluded in the palace yurt, and they summon shamans and generals alike to speak before them. There's no debate. I emerge from the tent as the first ra- Go away. I emerge from the tent as the first rays of the sun breach the horizon, and the entire gathered army is already awake, awaiting. They greet me, knowing that I'm not merely their ruler. I'm the ruler of the universe, Genghis Khan. This is where my conquest truly begins. So we got the Mongol Empire. We're now actually on high partition. That's neat. And we're gaining all of these free troops. We gain the Great Khan, and we gain the Greatest of Khan. Excellent. So here's the question. First off, these troops. Where are they? We may need to tick. It is now up to me to lead the vast cognate left behind. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and toss a coin. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. Indeed. So, we got the Mongol Empire, and... Oh, are those... Those are event troops, aren't they? So, I think they are available... Not necessarily as levies, but as these special soldiers. Yeah. That's what they are. So they're horse archers, armored horsemen, and mangonels. So that's very similar to what I want our uh, men-at-arms to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately destroy all of our men-at-arms regiments. And we're probably not... I didn't mean to raise those. <laughs> Disband. We're probably not going to be able to get all of these put together right now. But we're going to grab three units of onagers. Like so. Then we're going to grab three units of horse archers. Excellent. We're going to max out the onagers first. We can't fully max them, but that's okay. And now the question becomes... Who do we conquer first? And I think the answer is the Kirkies Khanate. How much prestige is this actually going to cost? I didn't even think about that. What's a Mongol invasion cost? 200 prestige. Okay, we don't technically have that, but that's okay. I shouldn't have spent that much. That's my own fault. Uh, let's see here. That's all gone. Yep. I can't create titles. No quick way to gain the prestige back. I spent it down too quickly. That was my own fault. So, a Mongol invasion of kingdom 
There's also the Subjugation War. Is a Mongol invasion of a kingdom only once per life? I mean, the Subjugate CB is once per life. It doesn't say anything about that here. Is the Mongol invasion once per life? Surely not, because the Mongol Empire, like, over the course of one person's lifetime, in real history, spread, like, this far. Right? So surely that's not the case for the Mongol invasions. That's my guess. Okay, so we need prestige. There's no doubt about that. This guy is proposing an alliance. I decline. We can kill these guys. And so we shall. We're going to raise up a bunch of these troops. We're going to let these lock in. And in we go. This should net us a good amount of prestige. Now, I believe... We'll stand down on succession. Do these reinforce? I don't know that they do. So we need to keep that in mind. But that's okay. We don't need them to reinforce. We're already more powerful than everyone else here, even with, without those troops. So that's fine. That'll be a stack wipe. And yep, that netted us 780 prestige. That is plenty, but we're going to continue taking these guys down for now. Because that allows us to continue to work up our onagers. I guess this war is over. Okay, so we'll put that down. We can invade the Kyrgyz Khanate at this point. So which one do we want? Kakassia? Angara? The remnants of Mongolia? Or Tuva? So. If we can only invade one, then we want it to be Kakassia. If we can keep pressing these like every five years, then we don't care. It's only 200 prestige, too. That is insane, right? Like, completely insane. I'm going to declare it. And these are all at maximum size. So that seems fine. Ah, now look at this. His armies... Th these are his armies over here. We're going to raise up here, and we're going to fight his armies first. Now, we've already fought his armies somewhat. Yeah, enemy allies are going to join the war. That's fine. Now, he doesn't want anything to do with this. So what we're going to do for right now is we're going to split off our horse archers. Basically, all of our horse units. Which we have a lot of right now. Okay. Our horse units are going to head up here and try to pursue this guy. The rest of our units are going to come down here. Our horse units should be faster, in theory. I have no idea if that's actually true. I'm just assuming it is. It looks like we're moving faster than they are, I think. Yeah, we catch them there. So that's great. No, don't go that way. I'm dumb. Okay, I had the wrong unit selected. I meant to tell these guys to come over here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to pursue them a little further. That's fine. So we want to expand as much as possible in this lifetime. Now, we need to keep in mind that we are on high partition, which isn't as bad as Confederate. But they're both fine if we only have the one male child, right? Like, that's irrelevant. We just captured his son and heir. That's cool. We're at 68% war score right now. And that, of course, nets us fame. And this will be our first conquest over here, and it'll be a pretty good Mongol conquest, I think. We are going to catch these guys in one day. 
And we're gonna catch these guys as well. They didn't have to turn there, but sure. That's what they want to do. Okay, so I want to check over here. They're not currently reinforcing. Maybe when they're put down, they'll stand down on succession. So we need to keep that in mind. I'm going to allow these guys to lock in here. And in we go. Okay. So we're going to come over like here. Actually, we could just put these guys down, but I'm not going to. We're going to want them. We are a little bit short on cash. That's something to note. Okay, we're at 82% war score. Let's go siege this. It should fall fairly quickly. We do have 361 onagers here, after all. Yeah, that's falling quite quickly, indeed. Now, how are we doing on our city planning? About 29 years on that. That's okay. This should end the war for us. 88. I expected that to be a little bit more. Well, we'll head up over this way. These guys are fully supplied. Oh, look at that supply weight. 300 for 16,000 troops. So these special soldiers don't have supply weight. That's a little insane. The regular soldiers of the same type do have supply weight. But no one else does. That's crazy. Well, we're definitely going to get some map painting done this life. Assuming we can continue doing those Mongol claims. Which I'm pretty sure that we can do. So that'll be fine. Let's get this siege done. And this might give us enough. Maybe. We only got 6% from the last one. Yeah, we need one more. Okay, that is fine. No concerns on that front. And let's get this one sieged as well. Yeah, 34 days. I like it. So obviously we're not going to have anywhere near this level of power next life. So we need to take advantage of this while we can and be very, very expansionistic. That's how this is going to have to work. Okay, I was wondering if that wasn't going to give that, but it did. And so we will enforce those demands and disband all. So we directly hold all of the titles with that CB. Okay. Now, yep, we can declare as many Mongol invasions of kingdoms as we want. Now, what about on non-kingdom level titles? That is a kingdom level title, I think. Yeah, but this is a duchy tier realm. It works there too. Well now, isn't that fascinating? So obviously we're going to have to hand these titles out. And we'll just grant them to people who are the correct religion and culture. Just because we don't want to be this wildly over our domain limit. And this will be completely fine. No problem whatsoever here. We should probably think about going into flexible truces. It's something that we'll definitely think about. We need to grant this out as well as this title. Fantastic. And these two over here as well. Actually, only the one needs to be granted out. The other we can hold. We'll want to grant it out later, but for now it's fine. So, we technically have borders here. So you know what that means. This is insane, by the way. 
This may seem like it's a tiny little conquest. But we're going to spread really fast. I do want to check one last thing here. Even unraised, these guys do not appear to be regenerating. Okay, good to know. That's fine. We're going to be so wildly powerful after this that it won't matter. So we're going to drop our rally point here and raise up our troops. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue our Mongol conquest. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.